Hello and welcome to another First Impressions video brought to you by MMO Play. It's here taking a look at more of a kind of like social networking style game rather than our usual RPGs. This is more just kind of hanging out and making friends in an MMO setting. It's called Five Street. It's brought to you by Snail Games. It is a free to play kind of set in modern times and well, it's just about being trendy and dancing and music. Just so you know, just a little word of warning, uh, for those of us that have AVG like myself, this game and AVG do not get along, just ignore it, it's a false positive. So we're gonna see some of the basic setups. You can see there is a questing system, you kinda accept a quest and then work on it. It's usually just, like the newbie one is just teaching us game mechanics, it's really easy and straightforward. You earn some currency and some XP and you leveled up. I didn't see too much in the way of anything that big of a deal for leveling up other than like I think you get access to better dances as you level but then again I didn't explore too deeply into this game this is not usually my uh, genre of choice I'm more of a RPG fan myself but take a look at the game it looks like it I can almost see it being fun for people that enjoy like more social gaming rather than strategic and hardcore gaming you see, got a lot of little tool tutorials, tips around here. This is just kind of guiding me through my first little bit of Five Street. You got a lot of music. I'm gonna guess it's Japanese. I'm gonna guess it's this kind of an Asian style game rather than American, since it's not English, obviously. You can see we. Uh, my little quest indicator up there in the top left is just yelling at me. Reminds me of something out of uh, Coach Carter almost. I'm expecting some sort of motivational basketball type scenario going on now. I actually really liked that movie. You can see we get new clothes. Right now I don't have much in the way of choices. That quest actually actually wants me to open up my, uh, on the right, the clothing tab. Yeah, I'm kind of reading through. doesn't really have a, like, a lot of Asian-style games will automatically do quests for you, almost, if you click a button. This one doesn't. It just kind of guides you. It's like a new hat. i got a purple hat to go with my, uh, dress clothes. Then you can say I can accept a quest. I can then quit the quest. It's our new one. So I'm not really sold into a quest. I can just kind of move on. You only can be working on one at a time, though, so keep that in mind. You can see some guys over there dancing. Uh, the dancing kind of reminds me of Guitar Hero, which we'll look at in a minute, where you have to hit arrows at a certain time. I didn't actually get a down path, though. I missed every move. I must just be bad at it, or at least something. Alright, let's just go and uh, go anywhere and go try dancing around in my quest. Titanic Underground. I'm the king of the... no. Yeah, there we go. I... Hey, if I can just get new shoes. Need some new kicks to, to bust some moves. Because I'm down with the kids. Oh man, I'm old enough to actually say that. Alright, here we go. We got some guys over there dancing on the podium. Let's just go join them. Just kind of look around a little bit first. I'm just trying to negotiate the interface. There's a lot of things on this interface that I just don't understand yet. I didn't get a chance to mess around with it too much. Alright, well the music started. I may as well go dance, huh? So you can see, uh, you get new dance moves as you level up. Right now I'm just gonna stick with easy, which I'm still gonna fail. I got a little bar here, and it's gonna start having arrow keys. And I'm, right now I'm trying to hit the arrow on my keyboard, and it's just not doing... See, I can hit down and it went green, it went up, it went green, but I'm still missing. So, there's something to it I'm missing, and I just don't understand, but playing around with it more, I'll probably figure out this quest would give me a lot of XP and some new shoes, so I wish I could finish it and level up again. But let's go check out something else, because uh, I'm just obviously a terrible dancer. Alright, and here's the, like, the main map of the whole town. You can see everywhere you can go. Hey, let's go home. They do have a Hall of Fame where you can see like, the highest level people and the best scoring people of all time. 
Hmm, so I got a nice looking house right now. I got a good view, I got a TV, I got a bed. Yeah, I can't complain. I wish my place looked like this. Lucky draw, every day you get just a free little bonus draw. A lot of games kind of do this nowadays. Yeah, I got some extra bone XP, that's nice. And I also did my quest, so I get my I get some shoes now, finally. If you can check it out, it's available for free. If you like the content, stay tuned to more videos for MMO Play. Thanks for watching.